Hey guys, this is my video on must know Windows 8 mouse gestures and uh, yeah, basically mouse gestures and little shortcuts you need to know if you don't want to shoot yourself. Okay, so first of all, um, let's go back to Windows Vista, arrow snap. If you move this to the left, you snap half the screen, move it to the right, half the screen, full, full screen, right? Also a shortcut, let's say you have more than one monitor, hold the Windows button and press left to left for left, right for right, up for full, down for whatever the yeah. You get you get the you get the point. Okay? So that's one to know from Windows Vista or Windows 7. But just if you don't know it, now you know it anyways. So next, how to get to the start menu from your desktop. And also vice versa. The boring way is to go to the bottom left where it says start and click. And this will drive you nuts eventually. The faster way, press the Windows button and you go back and forth. Hyperspeed, okay? That's another simple shortcut. Another thing, let's start opening apps. Let's open up Netflix and let's press the Windows button. Wikipedia, Windows button. Whatever, Living Social, Windows button. New Age, Windows button. News Bento, Windows button. Uh, what is this? Oh, Fruit Ninja, Windows button. I don't know if you play that game, someone just told me to download it. Smart Glass, Windows button. Skype, Windows button. Pop Science, Windows button. Uh, New York Times, Windows button. Okay? And now, let's say I want to go back to one of those, but I don't feel like clicking on it again. Um, I can go on either desktop or on this, go to the top left. And there I can go to desktop, just like the bottom left. But if I go to the top left, and then while on, still on this. Uh, left side, if I go down, it'll bring me all of the recent apps that were open. So, Wikipedia, Fruit Ninja, Use Bento, you know, all of this. No need to go to 74 different apps, right up, right here, I have them all, okay? Along with this, let's say you need to act, okay, now we're getting in trouble. Just See, the reason why you don't want to use the bottom left shortcut to get to your desktop is because it's going to start showing your other apps, and that is going to create a problem for you, which will eventually make you want to jump off of a bridge into freezing cold water. So just press the Windows button to make it easier. Or, no, see, if you press the Windows button, then it'll start bringing you to your last apps as well. If you have more than one app open, so just press the desktop button to go from here to here, and to go from here to the start menu, Windows button. From the start menu to the desktop, desktop button. Right? Because if you have more than one app open and then you're on the start menu, then you press the Windows button, it will. Let's see, this is my last app, right? Press the, the Windows button, it'll take you to the last app. So that can actually be useful if you want to do the last app, but it's going to be extremely annoying if you're doing anything else. And then we're going to move to the. Full, uh, Final shortcut I have for you. On the bottom right, you have the minus button on the start menu, which will do this. No one's really interested in that. But if you go to the bottom right, you have this come up. You start, so again, bringing you to the last app is on the start menu. But if you go to the desktop, bottom right, start, they use the start menu. Okay? But bottom right, settings, and then you have this network, network and sharing center. Uh, the volume, the brightness, if it's a laptop, unfortunately it's a desktop, can't do anything about that. Notifications, power, sleep, shutdown, restart, keyboard shortcuts, again this is not a laptop. Or you can go from here to your control panel. Okay. But also you, if you go to settings, you have this up here, your tiles, your help. So. Yeah, that is the first one under start and settings. Devices, it'll bring you here. But let's say I had a second monitor or whatnot, I can just access it through here. Don't have to press screen resolution on the desktop. Um, share, yeah. So let's say we're inside the New York Times app, right? And let's say I want to post a really interesting article about the debate to Facebook, then I press share, and then I can share it to wherever I want, but I do not have the Facebook app installed, so I don't even know if there's one. So yeah, if I had that installed, I could do it, but I don't have it installed right now, so I can't do it right now, but we'll do it some other day. Bottom right, 
uh, search. This is probably my 99 bajillionth favorite one because this is like amazing. Um, I did show this in some of my original Windows 8 review, but if you didn't see that, um, let's need to find an app, right? But it's not over here in this giant start menu mess. Go to search. Say I want to find the calculator. Type in calc or just begin typing whatever. Calendar calculator inside apps. So let's say I want to find it in the settings. For settings, show me everything for settings. Files, Jesus Christ, 3,982 of them. Let's say I want to find a calculator in the store. For store, search the store. New Age, Wikipedia, Bing, Sports, Finance, Games, Google Chrome, ma Mail, Maps, Music, Netflix, News, News Bento, People, Photos, Popular Science, Dad Drive, Travel, Video, Weather, Smart Glass, and yeah, I'll stop there. So this has been another video by DudeDS Rocks. Comment and subscribe. And if you have any more uh, suggestions or whatnot, leave it down below in the comments. And I will probably make it the same day, if not close to the day you posted it, depending on how much time I have on my hands. Thank you. And now I'm going to go to my desktop. And this doesn't take forever to end because I have to go here. Then I have to right click here. And then I have to press stop.